Major Adam Lee III, A-D-A-M-L-E-E the third. We're here today uh, because the Atlanta Fugitive Squad and Homicide Unit need your help in locating Mr. Andrew Nellums, a DOB of 92288. Nellums is a suspect in the shooting uh, death that occurred at 2060 Allison Court on November 1st of 2016. Uh, he shot the victim at close range with a shotgun in the back, and we believe that this argument or disagreement between the two of them possibly stemmed from an argument uh, a day before over a female. Uh, we believe that this individual is uh, possibly in the Cobb County area, not sure. That's where we had some information that he may have uh, been frequenting as of late. He also goes by AKA of Antonio Colvert, C-O-L-V-A-R-D. Uh, the picture we're posting today uh, is, may not be completely accurate. We believe he may have, have uh, cut his hair by now to a shorter hairstyle, but if you would, just please focus on his face. And if anyone has any information regarding this individual, please call Crime, Steppers, Crime Stoppers at 44577-TIPS. Any questions? Murders, why are we called here for this one in particular? Well, this particular individual, uh, he, he has a history uh, with being involved in and around a murder. Uh, he was arrested in 2010 by the Atlanta Police Department with five other individuals. Uh, in that trial, he ended up being the only one acquitted out of uh, five individuals. The other four were, were uh, found guilty of the murder. He was acquitted in that, in that case. And also in uh, 2012, he was arrested for a murder in East Point, uh, but uh, apparently the, the uh, DA wasn't able to indict. They didn't have enough evidence to indict him in that situation. So, so he has a history of being in, in a circle Around, around these types of crimes. All of that to say he's a dangerous individual. Yes, and also the nature of the homicide, our latest homicide, you know, uh, the individual, as I said previously, was shot in the back. Uh, and it, it appears that the, the disagreement occurred from a woman. You know, they were, they were arguing over, over his girlfriend or something like that. This information that we have. Can we talk, Go ahead. Can we talk about the severity of the case? I mean, if you're shooting anybody at close range, I mean, that can do damage, but if you know anything about guns, a shotgun blast, I mean, there's a different level of anger that goes behind having a gun like that. Can you talk about that? Well, uh, these types of injuries are very devastating. Uh, so uh, especially if you're looking, if you can imagine someone being shot in the back with a shotgun, it's very, very devastating and, and menacing uh, type situation. So, um, it's still a homicide, it's still a murder, no matter how you look at it, but it's just more egregious, we believe, uh, when someone is shot in the back. Ever so our, our fugitive unit has been uh, relentless in, in trying to locate him over the last 66 days, and uh, we have had some information here and there of his whereabouts, and we've gotten to the point now uh, where we would like to really implore the public to try to help us out in this situation. Um, our, our fugitive unit is, is very good at what they do, they are, but uh, oftentimes, you know, they get to the point where they, they run a, a, out of leads. He knows you guys are looking for him. Yes, at this point, we don't normally put this out there. Uh, we normally wait and allow our fugitive unit to do their best and try to locate someone, but uh, we've gotten to the point now uh, where we feel that we need to actually put his face out there for people to see and hopefully someone will recognize him. Like I said, you know, just don't, don't focus on the hair. Look more at his face just in case he's, he's uh, got a lower haircut or even shaved his head by now. But don't approach him because he's dangerous. Oh, for, for sure. Do not approach this person. He's, uh, we believe he is armed and dangerous. Any more questions? 